Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 13 collectibles here in the Visid Bog and Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're gonna be starting from the Visid Bog meditation point that's located right here on your map. And as soon as you spawn in, the first thing we're gonna do is come right over here to the side and we're gonna drop down on this little rock. We can jump across to this little island and this is gonna be your first chest as well as your first collectible. After you open up this chest, we can come right over here to this piece of metal and scan it, and that's gonna be your second collectible. And once you finish scanning this, we're gonna come right back over here on top of this rock, and we're gonna go into this little cave entrance right here. And as soon as you go in, right over here on your right side where this wood is, or this metal is rather, you're gonna be able to scan the metal and you'll be able to get your third collectible. And once you scan this, we're gonna head back outside. We can jump back across to this rock, and we're gonna turn around and grapple up top here. And once you make it up top, if we run over to the left, we can actually drop down on this little section. And right over here where this bush is, you're gonna have a seed pod. So you guys can see the green glow. Go ahead and take out this bush and you'll get your next collectible. Once you grab this seed pod, we're gonna go get another one. If we turn around, we can actually jump up on this gate over here. And right when you get to the top of the gate, you'll see the green orbs in front of you. Go ahead and destroy this bush for your next seed pod. After grabbing that seed pod, we're going to head right back over here in the corner where you see the blue glow. And this is going to be your next collectible. Once you pick that one up, we're going to turn around and we want to work our way on top of these rocks. So we can come right over here and jump up on this rock. And we'll have a path that leads pretty much all the way to the top here. Climb up, turn right. And if you work your way all the way to the end, you'll get the signal for using force lift and that's gonna bring a treasure out of the rocks. After grabbing this one, we're done up top. We're gonna to go grab another seed pod. So we're gonna work our way back down the rocks here. And we're gonna to go to the giant rock that we can force lift out of the water. So just continue this way. When we get over here, we're gonna force lift this rock. Now keep in mind, this thing is going to slowly go back down into the sludge. So we want to move with some pace as we get on top of this thing. We'll move around the outside. And once we get to the top, we can jump across. So we're going to jump right over here and we're going to take this zip line. Now, halfway down this zip line, we're going to jump off and take this zip line to the left so we can jump off here, grab onto this one. And when you get to the end, just jump toward the middle of this rock because we're going to have another zip line that we can go to, but you want to get there before you drown here. So if you remove this way, you'll be able to get to the grapple. Sorry, not zip line. You'll be able to get to that grapple in time before you, uh, you drown in there. But once we're up here, we want to make it up top. We're just going to go all the way around over here. And you guys can already see we have one little bush that's right next to the railing here. That's going to be your seed pod. So right when you get up here, you take out that bush and you'll get your next collectible. Now, once you pick this up, we're going to head back down the rock formation and jump back on the zip line. So you guys can see the zip line here. We can actually grapple onto it and we're going to cut the zip line again about halfway through. So we'll jump up to the next one and we're going to take a left. So we'll jump here. Take a left and we're just going to jump to the left. You guys are going to see that we have a little swingy thing here we can grab onto. If you move close enough, you'll be able to grapple onto it. We're going to do the same thing. Swing right over here to this fence. You probably won't make it. But once you get near it, you're going to be able to grapple. And we're just going to go across all of these rocks that are over here. So we're just going to lift them one by one and jump across them. But you need to move fairly quick. So we'll use force lift here. We're going to jump across. We're going to use force lift again. We'll be able to jump across to this one. We're going to use force lift one more time. We'll jump across to this one and then we'll be able to make it to the other side here where you're going to find your next collectible. Now, after you grab this one, we're going to run right over here to the right and you guys are going to see two pretty scary looking creatures. These are going to be our legendary enemies that we need to take out for our next collectible. So go ahead and fight these guys. And once you take both of these guys out, we can run right over here to this chest. And this is going to be your next collectible. And once you open up the chest, we're going to head back so we can run right back over here to the rock that we jumped down from. And we'll be able to grapple back up top. And we're just going to bounce across these rocks that we lifted up. Except this time we don't need to lift them. We can just leave them down and just run across from one to the other. We'll go to this one, back over to this one, and then we'll be able to grapple back up top here. And we're going to go inside this elevator here. So if the elevator's already there, that's great. Just go stand on it. If not, you can use this little switch here to call it back down. But what we want to do is not ride this thing to the top. We're going to jump off about two stories up. I'll go ahead and stand on it. And we're going to face the outside. You guys are going to see this first little section here. There's nowhere to go there. But right up here, we're going to jump out over this ledge. And you'll see we have a little platform area. We're going to run right around this corner here. 
and right over here on the edge is going to be another chest in your next collectible. Now to get our next one, we're going to turn around and come right back over here and grapple a little bit. We're going to jump up and grapple across all three of these. So we'll go to the middle one, go to the third one, and then right up here on this little overlook, you guys are going to see we have our next one right here. Now getting our final collectible is going to be a little tricky. We're going to hop on this bird and fly to the left of these rocks, and we're going to grapple our way all the way back up to this rock here in front of us. So I'll show you guys. We're gonna go right here on the left. And if we fly around all these rocks, we're gonna come across a spot where we can grapple. You can see them over there. We wanna go around the back here. We've got two that are pretty low. And we're gonna jump off and grab onto this thing. So right about here, we can jump off and grapple. We'll come right over here to this one and we're just gonna work our way all the way around this rock. So we'll hit this one, continue to go right. Now we're going to head back toward the giant rock formation that has our 13th collectible. Now this is where it gets a little difficult. We're going to go to this one here and we're going to have a grapple on the zip line. So just get as close as you possibly can. You'll be able to grapple onto the zip line and then we're going to jump off and grab this one here on our right. And all we got to do is make it to this rock right here. And once you land, you can come right back over here on the edge and pick up your final collectible. But this is how to find all 13 collectibles in the Visid Bog. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.